Hi guys, so today is December 30th, nope. Friday, December 30th, um, <laughs> as you may know or may not know, my husband's a dialysis patient, he has no kidney function. Um, he has to go to dialysis Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 11 to 4. He usually gets home between 4 and 5. He helps me out a great deal. He has been helping me out a great deal. Walking Bella, um, she's the type of dog that she will not poop on a leash. So we have to take her... We usually take her across the street. There's a big empty field back there. We let her go. She does her business. She runs around, gets some energy out. And we usually do that three times a day. So, my husband went down last night. Actually, yesterday uh, afternoon. Uh, he was helping a friend. And he called me and said something was wrong. He's getting severe pain in his man parts. And like down there where we would have ovaries. I'm not sure the male anatomy. Uh, I looked it up. It looks like uh, the urethra. I think I'm saying that right. So, we were debating whether to go to the emergency room or not. This emergency room right here is close, but they're not very good. The hospital itself is good if you have, like I had my colonoscopy, and you have a doctor, a procedure, that's fine. But to go through the emergency room, uh... And I witnessed that firsthand when I broke my tibula fibula um, hiking <laughs> in the woods. And all of a sudden, me and my Bella were playing, and she gets a little carried away. And she likes, sometimes she gets so excited, she ran right into me and I knocked me down. And I couldn't get up. Here I am in the woods alone with her. First she thought it was funny. Hey, look, mommy's crawling. <laughs> mommy's now on my leg. Anyways, I managed to crawl like a half a mile to a bench and had to call the paramedics. They came, took me to the hospital. I was there for about three, four hours. All of a sudden, the nurse comes in and said, you're released. Nothing's broken. I was like, I can't walk. Yes, you can. Real, like, yes, you can. You got to get out of here, and you got to get out of here now. And mind you, I do have insurance. <laughs> it's not like I was just picked up off the street, homeless, and whatever. Even if I was, I should have not been treated that way. But that's a whole nother story. So he kept insisting that I can walk. So I literally got to the end of the bed and I went, I cannot walk, look. He said, well, I'll just get a wheelchair and roll you out the waiting room. Because my husband had to pick me up. I was explaining to him, my husband's waiting for me to call. He's got my dog. And, you know, we have to wait a couple minutes, not that far, maybe 10 minutes away. I'm going to get you in the wheelchair and push you out. I said, now how am I going to get in my house? Can I please have some crutches so I can get in my house? Probably crutches isn't a good idea because with my hip situation and this is even before I knew I had cancer. Um, he looked at me and he goes, we don't donate that stuff. I never felt so humiliated in my life. Finally, he comes out, says, here, some crutches, and just turned around and walked out. Anyways, next day, I went to my, uh, my doctor, my orthopedic surgeon, 
And as soon as he put the x-rays up, he says, it's broken right there. It's, it's broken on my left side. Everything loves my left side or hates it, however you want to look at it. Right there. So it was broken between tibula and fibula. So Rob's been helping me out a great deal before he, when he gets up, he takes Bella out. And then he takes her for a walk before he goes to dialysis. Then he comes home from dialysis and takes her for another walk. And it's really been helping me. So now I'm on my own. This morning I walked her. I walked her around the track. And my when I came home, my legs were killing me. Killing me. I got a hot water bottle, which I highly recommend. I also have a heating pad. Um, but there's just something about uh, this water bottle. I just absolutely love. I re highly recommend from Amazon. It even has a cover you could take out and wash it. Um, and it, it does last eight to nine hours. So he went to the doctors this morning. Um primary doctor and he says I think your hernia he had hernia surgery a few years ago and they put a mesh and either the mesh moved or something's going on in that area so Thursday he's got an appointment with a surgeon now Tuesday I, re I said please Rob this is way before this happened and he says, no, I want to go to the oncologist with you. You know, it's your first appointment. We need to all be there together. So he's going to suffer through this till Thursday. Anyways, he had no other choice, really, because it's a holiday and a weekend. Everything happens. Why does everything happen on a holiday and a weekend? Someone has an answer. Comment below. Because, <laughs> you know. So, all I did was go to Walmart, pick up a few things, maybe six items. Took her around the track. It's not a big track. And I am in pain. And I have pain meds. And I took them as prescribed. I hope. The oncologist has answers for me. And this has been going on for months. i just been blaming it on my hip. But now it's in, it's like in my groin. Anyways, hurts really bad. I'm just venting. Thank you for listening. I will keep you updated as my journey continues. And Tuesday when I go to the oncologist. I hope everybody's doing well. By the way, Happy New Year if I don't make another video by then. I wish everybody health. Health is so important. You know, you hear these old people, oh, if you don't have your health, da -da 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 -da. but it's true. It's true, girlfriend. If you don't have your health, you're shit's great with the battle. Especially if you have kids or pets that rely on you. We don't, we don't have a house that you can just open the door and let her go in the backyard because we live in an apartment, so that's not allowed. All dogs must be on a leash at all times. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I bought myself a pink cup, and I just ordered uh, a phone case on Amazon. <laughs> Thought maybe it would make me feel better. <laughs> Salute. It's water. <laughs> All right, guys. Happy New Year. I love you. Keep your light shining bright. And keep on manja. Eating. And loving one another. And being kind. And take some time for you. Be kind to you. Because if you're not kind to you, you're not going to be kind to others. Vice versa, right? Hope everybody's doing okay. Good. Hope everybody's doing good. Good, good, good. Sending good vibes, good angels, butterflies.
Till next time. I don't know if you noticed, but I don't like to say goodbye. Even on the phone, my dad calls. He's like, okay, bye. And I'm like, okay, dad, talk to you later. So I will see you or talk to you later.